Welcome back to the shop, guys. Today we're gonna to take this rough piece of maple from this and turn it into this. Let's get it. Okay, guys, so to get started, we wanna take us over to the joiner. Now I wanna show you, this board has a really bad cup in it. A lot of lumber will come out of the kiln this way. Uh, there's really nothing you can do about it but to take and run it on the equipment and get it flat. Uh, so as you can see, the cup, I have it marked here with the pencil, which way the cup's going right now. I can run this this way on the joiner, or I could flip it over and run it this way with a smiley face up. Now, I prefer to do the smiley face down. And the reason that is, when you run that on the bed, it'll give you two points of contact so it doesn't rock. If I run it smiley face up, it'll rock on that. Even though, as I push it through, it will take a little bit off and start to flatten it. It can keep rocking and it can be dangerous. So if I reference this smiley face down, I don't know if you can see this on the bench. So when it's on the bench, it doesn't want to wobble. Now if I flip it smiley face up, you can see how much that rocks. So as I'm pushing that through the joiner, I don't want that rocking, okay? That's why I'm gonna run it smiley face down. So frowny face down, that's what we want, frowny face. Okay, so let's go to the joiner. Let's get that first side flat. Okay, guys, so I'm ready here. Frowny face down. Let's kick it on and let's run it through. As you can see, we got to do about one more pass here. We have it almost the whole way to where it needs to be flat. So guys, as you can see, we got this completely flat on one face. Now we're ready to flip that face onto the fence of the joiner and run an edge and get a 90 degree angle. Okay guys, here we have our frowny face board back from the joiner. We did steps one and two. Step one was getting a face flat. Again, we put the two edges down so it wasn't rocking like a smiley face. We put a frowny face. So remember, frowny downy, okay? I just made that up. I don't even, it rhymes though, so go with it. So we have the frown down, went ahead and got that reference flat, flipped it up against the fence, ran it through, and got an edge jointed. Actually, it would've went that way, okay? now. The fence on the joiner is 90 degrees to the table, so obviously we have a flat edge going against there. Ran it through, got the edge flat, 90 degrees. So now we should have a 90 degree edge, and I can show you that right here. Okay, so we have two sides, well a side and a face, now they're 90 degrees. So the next step is taking this piece of wood over to the table saw. We wanna go ahead and rip that to width. Uh, this piece right now is measuring all oh, five and five eighths. Let's go ahead and rip it down to five inches and then we'll come back for step four. Okay, so we ran this through the table saw. We wanted to get it the width. We referenced the flat side down. We got our edge against the fence. That's our 90 degrees now. Our table saw fence is 90 degrees to the table. Set the blade to five inches, ran it through. Now we have a five inch wide piece. So step one, step two, step three for width. Now we want to take care of the thickness. Remember, frowny downy, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, so step four is now done. We took it to the planer, took it down to three quarters of an inch. Frowny downy, the frown's starting to disappear, guys. I don't know what to tell you. We're three quarters of an inch now. That's what uh, I just made up that dimension. I wanted it to be three quarters. Majority of projects I do, I use three quarter lumber. So let's go ahead and cut it the length. That'll be the final step in this process. And then we're done. Right now we're 17 and 5 sixteenths. I'm just gonna cut a 12 inch board. Okay guys, we're back at the bench. We're all done. Our five step process is complete. We took our rough cut piece of maple, and turned it into our finished board to our dimensions, uh, dimensions I just made up. But anyhow, here it is, turned out great. This is a process you can use for all your projects. Uh, th this is really helpful. Instead of going to the big box stores and buying lumber that's already surfaced and edged and planed uh, and spending three to four times, sometimes more, per board foot, you can go to a lumber mill and buy it in the rough and you're gonna get something that you would spend $10 at the big box store for $2 a board foot. And then you can go ahead and process it yourself. Plus, it's a lot of fun. When you run these boards through the planer and the grain shows, and it just, I'm a big wood nerd. So uh, it's just a lot of fun. It's rewarding. Uh, just give it a shot, try it out. Maybe you like it, maybe you won't. But that's the five step process. I'm glad you joined me today. If it's not too much to ask, hit the like, subscribe, leave me a comment and I'll catch you on the next one. Be kind to one another. See you later.